hello everyone welcome to my channel esp.net core and uh, today i'm going to show you how to fix http context dot current uh, that is property that property actually uh, http context dot current not working in esp.net core because the microsoft uh, permanently removed http context dot current property from dot net core and uh, introduce a new alternative solution for uh, http context dot current that alternative solution is i http i http context accessor for dot net core okay http context dot current uh, not working in sp dot net core and uh, it was an uh, alternative solution that is uh, i http context dot current property uh, sorry i http context accessor for the dot net i http context is an interface you you can say that it is an interface uh, for the dot net core for accessing http context properties so uh, you can say that that is access uh, properties okay and uh, you can say that that interface needs to be inject as a dependency in the controller and uh, inject dependency in the controller okay and then later use throughout the controller so interface allow to access the http context property which is run provides to request controller and also the response properties request and response properties also use you can use it so uh, the step is to use how to use it how to use it uh, so first of all configure service method uh, in the configure service method startup dot cs file open startup dot cs file first of all and the configure service method you can add it uh, that is the services dot add http context accessor add http context accessor okay now uh, after that you have to use uh, that it in uh, that it is in uh, controller section and the name space for that uh, HTTP uh, context accessor that is uh, Microsoft dot ASP.NET Core dot HTTP. Okay. So how to uh, how to use it in the controller section? Uh, use as a dependency in the controller. So you can use it in the class that is home controller and that is inherited from the controller class private i h t t p context accessor accessor okay and uh, Accessor, accessor request send object name and uh, in the constructor ctor constructor uh, that is home controller and in which you can initialize it i h t t p context accessor that is context and by using this um, accessor request request from the server context in the index method you have to use this um, HTTP context you 
can initialize HTTP context equals to accessor request dot HTTP context okay so all these properties of the HTTP context you can use it by using this okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core